Hey guys, welcome back. Nightzen OS was one of my best ROM that I started to like on this Redmi Note 3. And with the new Oreo update, the performance and stability is much better on this Redmi Note 3. So I instantly took out my camera and this is my take on Nitrogen OS 8.1 with the Oreo update for Redmi Note 3. Let's begin. First of all, I customized this phone with pixel launcher and reduced the pixel density as I prefer to read more on a screen at once. I used this ROM for like 2 weeks and what I felt was this was the best ROM upgrade from the previous Nitrogen OS which was the Nougat version. The previous version had problems like sim detection problem and lags and as I said, this ROM is based on Oreo 8.1. So you get the Oreo features like picture in picture mode, new emojis, smart text selection and redesigned settings menu. You get to play with a lot of gestures like double tap to switch to previous app and brightness control by sliding over the status bar. This all can be customized in the settings. But then one problem I noticed on this was the display color and the sound volume. The screen was not at all that vivid and sound was too low. So I had to install Agni kernel to fix that. After that, I felt like the battery backup and also the charging time has improved. However, this time the picture in picture mode stopped working. I got battery backup of about 5 to 6 hours and sometimes 7 hours. Charging time was again 2 hours and I could run almost 4 apps in the background without refreshing in my 2GB variant. It was much better than MIUI RAM management. So I liked it. I won't say that this ROM is entirely lag free. However, it's better than the MIUI according to me. You can easily switch between apps and multitask using split screen. This was indeed a useful feature. The pre-installed stock camera is not at all good. You can actually get the best performance of the camera from this Redmi Note 3 using Google HDR Plus camera, which I'll be reviewing in detail in a few days. It is that worth the review. You don't have the problem of auto exposure and the quality of image that comes out is really good. Although you cannot take slow motion video in this app. Caffeine was one of my favorite toggle which helped me in keeping the screen on for a prescribed time. Since this ROM is under development, you can experience small bugs like overlapping notification on the clock during ambient display. Instagram would crash at least once in a day, especially if you are using its camera. Also, Pixart was a little laggy on this. Other than that, the call quality and daily web browsing did not face any issue. Volti works and Goodix also works on this room. What doesn't work is Volti video calling, which hopefully would be fixed in the upcoming updates. I will link the website below if you want to know how to install the ROM properly and make it look like mine with all the launchers and the app icons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Stay tuned.